Oh, what an adventure! <laughs> Get lost with Google Maps. Alright, so we've got it wired into DC now as well as AC okay now to get the water pump on I just turn this one on okay um, and I can turn the heating unit on now if you listen you'll hear the click of the um, relay inside there you go all right and I can turn the water pump off water pump on this one off this one on the relay shuts off this one's purely for the heater this one's for the water pump now um, let's go see all right there we go you can see the blue light on it's not flashing because as this is DC direct current it's got no sine wave and you can see the current temperature is 45 uh, this thermometer this temperature gauge only works DC only if I push it once you can see I've got it set for 65 okay uh, I'll just check the battery charges off yes yep no lights there okay so currently that is drawing now that's a heater element that's drawing 26.5 that's um, what it will always draw okay um, now we do have all these on let me turn that water pump off there all right so the inverter is not turned on nothing else is turned on in here just these little blue lights and the bibs and bobs there um, so we're drawing 26.4 amps with a pump turned off constant okay now they say 24 to 25 um, I can't see this drawing an amp here um, but that's a ballpark figure I'd say probably 26 for this particular heating element they can all be slightly different so this particular heating element will draw about 26 amps which is fine and they reckon at that, that it'll take under an hour to heat the water I'm not going to do that test today basically all I'm doing right now is uh, checking making sure it's all wired right uh, checking for leaks and I have no leaks um, which is really really good all this uh, this is just temporary this mess here okay don't worry about that this is just for testing all this will be covered with with this this was the easiest way for me to run my water pipes to the back here so all this gets covered in a nice aluminium you won't see any of this all this will be hidden there'll be doors so I can get the bits and pieces um, and my switching wires are working pretty awesome um, again I'm going to have to rewire all them again but just for um, demonstration purposes it's all in it all works the AC side works the DC side works it'll heat up slowly slowly um, the missus is happy with the uh, just turn the charger back on Ziggy's happy uh, with the hot water at the sink now 
Um, we've got to get it hot and get all the oil residue out of the hot water pipe from the water heater manufacturing. Uh, that's no big job. Uh, we'll just run 60 litres of water through it. That should clean it up. And yeah, look at that. That works. Because uh, I didn't expect it not to work, but you can never be too sure. You can get dead units, dead on arrival units from anything, uh, but this one's all good. Alright YouTube, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. It's sort of a wiring plumbing video. Um, what to expect if you do one of these yourself. Now this 10 litre tank, uh, and this is one that's set at 65, I was going to set it at 70, but it's set at 65. That's a lot of water because remember at the, at the mixer end you're mixing that with cold water for the perfect shower or the perfect dishwashing temperature. So 10 litres goes a long way. Alright, keep safe everyone. I'm going to go and finish my cuppa which is sitting there getting cold. Poor coffee. Um, and uh, tidy up and enjoy the rest of my day. Hope you have a great Monday. Bye for now.